morning. So I am heading down south today for a little bit of hiking, a little bit of adventuring, and I figured I'm just gonna make a little video and bring you along with me. When I go out of Sydney, I tend to go Blue Mountains or I tend to go Central Coast. So I'm excited to explore down there. I found a hike that I'm gonna do. It's a long one. I think it's like 15 Ks, but I'm in the mood for walking. So I'm gonna do that. And then what I'm really excited about is the Sea Cliff Bridge is like this iconic bridge on the way to Wollongong. You always see really cool photos of it from above, which I always thought were drone shots, but apparently there is a little path that you can take that's kind of hidden, but it will take you up to this amazing viewpoint over the bridge. My friend Carolyn told me about it. So I'm going to go try and find that today and I figured I'll make a little video so you guys can use my intel, I guess, when I figure out where it is. So I've got my coffee. I'm going to hit the road. It should take about an hour and I will see you when I get to where I'm going. So the trail that I'm doing is called the Illawarra Escarpment Track. It starts on the Wadi Wadi Track, which is about a kilometer from Colcliff Station. So I parked at Colcliff, and then it goes all the way down to Sublime Point, which is right near Austin Mare Station. So I'm gonna walk all the way down there and then get the train back. Obviously it's better if you're with a bunch of people and you can bring two cars and sort of park at either end. Also, it's super easy if you just wanna like get public transport here, you can get the train here from Central, walk and then get the train back. But because I wanna do the Seacliff Bridge, I decided to drive. So I'm gonna go walk to the beginning of the track now and yeah, start my walk. I've got a cute little lunch that I'll have halfway through. And yeah, I don't think I have much else to say about it. So I'll probably just make a little montage of the view of the walk and then uh, talk to you when I'm done and then we're gonna do the Seacliff Bridge. See you on the other end. Going up there. These trees are so tall. Okay, we've come to a little stream crossing. I wish I had some waterproof shoes, not just Nikes. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> okay, did it. So pretty. Look at this tree. It's got a full hole in the bottom but it's still alive and giant. Like how cool is that? I don't even know how that happened. Lightning, very awesome. Perfect spot for lunch. Nice view, can't complain. That is a view. You know what? It is pretty sublime, I gotta say. I'm really glad that I did the hike going south so that I could end here um, rather than starting with this because I feel like this is such a good reward for a long hike. I am tired. Um, and I think I've got about a kilometer to go. I've just gotta walk down to the train station. Good stuff. All right, going down. It's actually really steep. Alright, now we've got like a full on ladder going down. Cool. Okay, I made it. I made it to the train station. I think I timed it really well. The next train comes in, I think, about 10 minutes, which is good. I don't want to be sitting around for too long. I am absolutely pooped. I think from the beginning, from like parking my car, walking to the trail, doing the trail, finishing it, and then walking to this train station, I think took about five hours. I really enjoyed that trail. It was definitely more of a bush walk than a coastal walk. Like, yes, it was up high on the like escarpment, whatever that even really means, but um, it wasn't like right on the edge of the cliff. So there were a few times where you could walk out onto the rocks and get a view, but most of the time you were just like walking through the bush. Um, still, it was beautiful, got some really good viewpoints. The trail was really well marked and pretty easy to follow. Um, although I'd say there are a few bits where you're like, hang on, am I on the path? So I really recommend using an app like All Trails to sort of 
follow where you're going and make sure that you're on the right track um, just to sort of you know peace of mind I'm really tired but I am gonna go to that bridge and hopefully the trail up to the viewpoint isn't too strenuous because I'm pooped um, but yeah I'm just gonna eat an apple and come back to life if you are driving down south over the bridge just as you get to the end there is a little space where you can park hopefully you can get a park it should be pretty easy it's like 3 p.m on a weekday so it's easy maybe on the weekends it might be a little bit trickier um, but there is like more parking down that way you want to cross over to the other side check good you want to cross over here and then there is a hole in the bush that you can climb into so just before you get to this sign it says sea cliff bridge there is a hole in the bush that you can walk through it looks ominous but i promise you it's fine i don't love just like walking into this undergrowth but you can see these yellow markers and you can follow them all the way up so just keep on following the yellow it is really steep actually um and because it's not like a proper trail it's really like a lot of clambering okay so that first part was really just like scrambling up a hill i would not recommend this if you are not comfortable with like climbing anyway i don't really know where i'm going i'm just kind of like wandering it's evened out a little bit that's a bit better and there's some other people so if i fall to my death at least they can get help all right look at this it's pretty worth it like wow so pretty all right now that i'm up here i realize that it's probably better to come earlier in the day so this isn't all in shadow um or at like twilight or actually it'd be so good at sunrise um but whatever this is still beautiful there's this group of like teens or like young adults and they're all just screaming that way it's too shallow it's great ambience all right and i've made it back to my hole back out to freedom Woo! survived Woo. that was an adventure but good so should i take these off i look a bit hot and sweaty but that's because i've been adventuring all day so that was successful did my awesome hike did my dangerous precarious little adventure up to that lookout um again do not do it if you are not fit and nimble and comfortable with like scrambling um because you it's it's scary if you don't really know what you're doing i think and i don't want to send you to your deaths or you know encourage you to break an ankle so if you want to do it go for it but you've been warned also do not go if it's been raining recently it rained maybe two days ago and it was still really muddy up there and slippery you're not dumb you know what you're doing anyway sorry if i sound like your mom it's like 4 30 um normally when i'm down here i like to go watch the sunset at bald head i think that's what it's called it's at like stamble tops Maybe it's not called bald head. I'm going to check that. It's really beautiful. And there's really good paragliding to watch there. I'm never going to paraglide in my life, but I like to watch them. But sunset is like three hours away. And I don't want to sit around here for three hours waiting and then have to drive home. So I'm going to nix the sunset. I think I'm just going to go to the Scarborough Hotel, which is like a cute pub with a nice view. I don't know if it's open. I've driven here, but I don't know if it's actually open. A successful day. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it was entertaining, but also informative because I want you to be able to do these cool hikes and do these fun things let me know if you do that sneaky little illegal lookout because if you get good pics let me know unfortunately i didn't get a photo of myself up there because there was no one around to take my photo and um everywhere i put my phone to do self-timer it just like whatever give my video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you learned something from it and i will see you in the next one bye